So here's a video on using the reformatting tool using the CS 3D imaging software. There's a few different applications of, of using this tool. I'll cover at least a couple of them in this video. Um, I was reviewing a case with a doctor yesterday and they received uh, scans from an outside source and basically it was a full headshot. Uh, not this particular case, this scan is actually off of the 9600. But they received the scan from an outside source, it was a full headshot. And the doctor was really only focused on dental alveolar applications for implants. So it was a lot of extraneous information and data. Uh, so we were able to use the reformatting tool to uh, to cut down on that data and simplify what the doctor was looking at, making it a little bit easier to use the software. Another application is you'll notice when the skin first opens, the axial slice here, um, it's actually kind of angled. The head, the head was shifted to one side. So we can use the reformatting tool to, to recenter and realign the patient properly. So it'll look better and make it easier to use the software. So to do that, what you first have to go into is the little uh, edit preferences icon up at the top. And you're going to select the um, NPR icon right here. And here's your activate reformatting tool. So you'll see all the different CareStream products are listed. So if you're trying to reformat a 9600, of course, you would check that one. If you're not sure which machine it comes off of, if it's a non-CareStream product, you can select Other. And that's what we did in his case yesterday. Uh, in this particular case, we know it's a 9600, so I'm just going to select this checkbox. Select OK. Close the scan. And reopen the scan. What you're going to get is this reformatting toolbox. And you can see you've got the three different views, axial, coronal, sagittal. And on my axial view, you can see how it's tilted. So to straighten out the image, you're going to simply grab my teal movement handle and then reorient the scan like so. Next thing you can do is select the cropping box and that will pull up the cropping boxes where each of these boxes, I can put my mouse over the uh, little movement handle here, and I can now crop down this area of interest to exactly what I want. Um, if I deselect my cropping box, I can also move my axial view a little bit better so I can actually see, for example, the mandibular arch. Go back to my cropping box, and now I can visualize my arch better and crop out unnecessary information. After I crop that out, I can rename the volume and then go ahead and select OK. What it's going to do is reformat and reconstruct a new volume. So you're actually going to have two volumes in your software. The first volume is going to be the original volume, and then the second volume is going to be the reformatted volume. And when it's done, you can see we've uh, reconstructed and reformatted the volume. It opens up the scan automatically. So all that information is now cropped, and you can also see my axial view it is uh, aligned much better than it was previously and now you can work easily within the scan. So one other application of using the reformatting tool is you can dummy down the resolution from the native resolution of 150 micron scan to let's say 400 microns or 500 microns. Some other planning software programs require a lower resolution so this is a way to reformat the actual scan. I can rename it, cropped with lower res, and select OK. And again, that reconstructs the data and reformats the data. So now you can see the lowest resolution of my scan is 500 microns. And you can use in those software applications that require that. 
So one last thing to note that uh, under my preferences where I have selected that 9600 checkbox, every time I open a 9600 scan, it's going to go to this reformatting tool. If I wanted to do that and just skip this step, I'm just going to say skip. And it will open the scan up normally. So if I wanted to remove this particular step each time I open a 9600 scan, I'll go back into my preferences and deselect that checkbox or just simply hit skip each time. Hope this helps.